Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 11. Today's topic is enzymes. My name is Ritresha from GK Today and I'll be taking you through this. What are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins that act as biological catalysts. They decrease the amount of energy needed to start a metabolic reaction and without them, organisms won't be able to harvest energy and nutrients from food. One common example is lactose intolerance. Lactose intolerance is the inability to produce lactase, the enzyme that breaks down milk sugar. So people can't digest milk. What are the functions of enzymes? So enzymatic reactions can build up or break down specific molecules. The specific molecule an enzyme works on is the substrate. In the function of the enzyme, shape is very critical. Enzymes are complex proteins with specific three-dimensional spatial shapes. The active site of an enzyme is the area where substrate binds and the reaction takes place. How an enzyme reacts with its substrate is similar to how a lock and key work. There are minor bonds that form between the enzyme and the substrate until locking and unlocking is done. Anything affecting the shape of the key would make the key unable to lock and unlock. How are enzymes named? The naming of enzymes is peculiar. Individual enzymes are named by adding the suffix "-as", to the name of the substrate with which it reacts. For example, enzyme amylase controls the breakdown of amylose, which is starch. Hydrolases control hydrolytic reactions. Proteinases control protein breakdown. Synthetases control synthesis reactions. However, some enzymes retain their name from older system when the ACE nomenclature was not adopted. An example would be trypsin or pepsin, both digestive enzymes that break down protein. What are some industrial applications of enzymes? Enzymes are used in the chemical industry and other industrial applications when extremely specific catalysts are required. For example, amylases from fungi and plants that are used in food processing industry. For instance, production of sugar from starch, such as in making high fructose corn syrup. Proteases are used by the biscuit manufacturers to lower the protein level of flour. Trypsin enzyme is used in the making of baby foods. Several enzymes are used in making wines and whiskies. Enzymes from barley are released during the mashing stage of beer production. Cellulases Pectinases are used in packing juices. They help to clear the cellulose from juice. Renin, derived from the stomachs of young ruminant animals like calves and lambs, are used in dairy industry to produce cheese. Papain, obtained from papaya, is used as a softener in meat cooking. Amylases, cyanolases, cellulases and lignolases are used in paper industry. A class of drugs called protease inhibitors are powerful HIV-fighting medications. Protease inhibitors prevent T-cells that have been infected with HIV from making new copies of the virus. How does pH affect enzymes? Since the changes in temperature and pH can cause the structure of a protein to change, every enzyme has criteria that must be met in order for it to perform its functions. For example, the amylase that is active in the mouth cannot function in the acidic environment of the stomach. Pepsin, which breaks down proteins in stomach, cannot function in the mouth. How does the humble spinach help diffuse TNT? TNT is a dangerous explosive. Spinach contains a powerful enzyme called nitroreductase that is able to neutralize TNT by converting it to other compounds that are less dangerous. Through additional reactions, th these less harmful compounds can be converted to carbon dioxide gas. What are enzyme cofactors? Few enzymes need other associated molecules to do their job properly. These molecules are called enzyme cofactors. They can be organic ions like mineral salts or organic molecules or vitamins. Inactive enzymes which are not bound to the cofactors are called aponzymes. Active enzymes bound to their cofactors are called holoenzymes. How are enzymes used in different areas of science? Substances that simulate substrates can bind to the activation center of enzymes, thus blocking the true substrates from binding to these enzymes and paralyzing the enzymatic reaction. These fake substrates are called enzyme inhibitors. 
Many pharma drugs such as some antibiotics are enzyme inhibitors that block enzyme activity. Penicillin inhibits the enzyme necessary for the synthesis of peptidoglycans, a component of the bacterial cell wall. Using this would block growth of the bacteria and this is what won Nobel Prize for Alexander Fleming for discovery of penicillin. Similarly, some antiretroviral drugs called protease inhibitors are used against HIV infection. Protease is an enzyme necessary for the construction of human immunodeficiency virus after the synthesis of its proteins within the host cell. The protease inhibitors bind to the activation center of the enzyme, blocking the formation of the enzyme substrate complex and enzyme activity, thus stopping the viral replication. That's all for the enzymes tutorial. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our GK Today channel on YouTube. Till the next video, bye.